G'day, it's uh, Eagle Scream. We're playing African Clearing. Age Empires 2, the Definitive Edition. Um, first time I've played this, it's kind of neat because you start off with three citizens and that's it. <laughs> and you gotta find the resources before your enemy does. And set up now. The AI in um, Age of Empires 2, Definitive Edition, it's pretty good, definitely better than the original, but I find for this map, it actually wasn't that good. Um, I found I was able to build at a much faster rate on standard as opposed to in other types of maps for standard, so just something to note. And again, it's the first time I'm playing Age of Empires 2, I'm just fast forwarding through the highlights of my game. Again, I, I'd appreciate if you subscribe and like the video, if you do like it, and if not, tell me why. <laughs> but anyhow, I'm just uh, starting on my wall, I've built a few major resources, um, sending my uh, knights uh, from my uh, barracks to go exploring. Figured out where my enemy is at this point, and... Uh, one thing I found was interesting, if you want to use the Rhino for food, uh, send more than three uh, citizens, unless you don't mind losing one. At this point, I decided, okay, I'm going to take my uh, soldiers and attack the village. You might say, well, that's not smart, they got arrows. Well, I'm not going to attack the actual town center. Just go to where I know they're located and try and take out all their buildings and see what their defenses are like. And again, normally they would have a lot of troops, but in this one they didn't. And again, I actually did a real slow build as far as I was concerned. Uh, didn't start hitting the next levels in terms of ages until much farther than I usually do. But as you can see here, they really don't have that many defensive troops. And so I was able to clear out just about everything during my first pass. And granted, I've upgraded my knights with as much technology as I can, but at the same time, I don't really think I should be able to do this um, on a regular, against a regular standard team. At this point, I'm starting to put arrow guys into my keeps. Not that they would be needed at all. Wasn't attacked at all. I think they sent one scout over, and that was about it. I kind of... I think I followed them back to their camp, if I remember. That's how I find out where they live. One other thing you should have the option for is, if your troops die, you don't get that information that could be... Interesting, until they return back to base with it. That'd be a nice little addition to this game, but... Anyhow, they might do that with Age Empires 4. Or not, I don't know. Either way, I'm having fun taking out their troops. Again, try not to get too close to that machine gun type arrow nest in their town center. But again, if I can take out their housing figure they're not going to be able to build at this point any troops, and I should be, even if I do lose a few troops, able to clear them out in the long term. Again, I did like the map, although I think going forward I would choose a higher difficulty than standard. I'm still sort of feeling out this game. I haven't played it that much. Again, let's build more troops. I haven't played it that much, maybe like once a week. So I'm still sort of feeling it out since my first playthrough, but I am loving the game. It is fun. Again, I am a cautious, defensive first player. Um, usually I use the... Uh, Bison teams. I've switched to the Chinese. I used to use the Chinese decades ago. And just sort of, I like their offensive play style. I'm trying to do something a little bit different. 
building more troops. <laughs> Again, not that I would need it. I'm just go sort of going through, just basically doing a loop around their town center and trying to take out all of their uh, support buildings, all the housing, all the mills, all the everything. Their market, any barracks or archeries. Let's build some horses. Again, not that I use them. Wish, uh, wish you could put it where they don't give up at all. They just fight right to the end. That would be fun. Kind of hate that where they're like, oh, we give up. It's like, uh, I didn't want you to give up. And again, if you're looking at it going, hey, you have a housing problem. Uh, they have more of a housing problem. <laughs> so... Again, if you have never tried this game, you should. It's a it's a fun game. Um, a lot better than the original, and it play, plays really clear, clean. Eh, can even say that. At this point, I'm starting to put keeps around their neighborhood, around their village, so that they can't really expand outside. By the end, when I checked the map, they actually had only a lumber camp, which had gone past my keep line, which I didn't even really finish. And again, figure the entire campaign took less than an hour. Um, I think. I, I can't really remember. I did this yesterday or last night or whatever. I'm just recording the voiceover right now. Again, building more keeps. They really didn't like that one. But as you can see, they're sending their citizens to destroy it. Which is kind of interesting, because you th figure, okay, you would send troops, so they don't have any troops. So let's build it again. And from there, let's leave our soldiers here so you can't attack it with citizens, and so their citizens are spazzing out as you saw the one guy. You will see that more often. I'm not sure if that's a glitch or what. They're trying to figure out what to do. Because they want to attack it, but they know it's a suicide mission. Building another one over here. Again, they're spazzing out. Should we chase that guy? Or should we... What should we do? Ah, okay, let's go for the keep that's already up. Because that's going to take away our food source. And game's just about done. This is Eagle Scream, a.k.a. Red Fire Keep. Really appreciate you checking out my video. Please like and subscribe. And I hope you check out the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.